Hey everyone, what you're about to listen to is a preview of a bonus episode that is available on our Patreon. If you like this clip, you can grab the whole episode, as well as years of other bonus content, at www.patreon.com slash lionsledbydonkeys. It's like a stinger at the end of a Marvel movie. <laughs> I, that leads me to like my, one of my favorite conspiracy theories from like the Cold War is that the Soviet Union attempted to make uh, uh, superhuman monkey soldiers. What? Yeah. Um, now, there was like the because, you know, with every conspiracy theory, there's a threat of something that actually happened, which is another thing we'll talk about. Mm, yeah. um, and that is once upon a time, someone did write a research paper about the viability of uh, human to ape children, which was, it turns out, yes. not viable I because have read about that's that. not how bodies work. Yeah. Um, this conspiracy theory is that the Soviet Union actually implemented this plan to attempt it. Making a human um, liger. Yeah. Uh, and they, you know, of course, because this is a conspiracy theory based on, um, you know, Soviet citizens being automatons and not being able to think for yeah. themselves, that uh, women lined up for blocks to willingly allow their body no. to be inseminated with ape semen to make no. super strong red army soldiers. And it, happen if you there google are, it like, you'll find multiple people that, talking that about it awful yeah and like i think if, I, depending on what you read they tried humans to monkeys first and then they tried monkeys to humans it wasn't actually like there was no interspecies intercourse well, I know going they, on like, they mixed they basically right because i have read about the research that happened it did not happen for very long but it was taking like the um the gametes so it was taking like ova from one and then sperm from another and mixing them in a petri dish like it was not it was basically like attempting in like the first steps of in vitro it was never like done in a person right right and uh like if you read into it people say like no there's totally like gigantic communist ape people out there. it's it's fucking fantastical bullshit but it, it's very stupid because uh, like it, the it was eventually canceled for ethical and scientific reasons, like yeah. not working. Yeah. Um. Because even like in the 1950s, in the Cold War, uh, everybody's looking around like, guys, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are we doing? Embarrassing. Here? This is not working. Somewhere like someone has like pictures of apes all over the wall. Like, what do you what do you mean? This is my passion. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Planet of, my, of the Apes one time and their mind was fucking blown. All of my apes have been thrown in the trash. <laughs> all my apes gone. <laughs> now, all of these conspiracy theories come out of the Cold War, and rightfully so. The yeah. Cold War military and weapon development was solidly <laughs> in the territory of we don't care, here take some money and see if it works. Like, Acme level, like, yeah. uh, wily coyote shit and like that's talking about like the things that were actually like sanctioned by governments like they yeah. have a report about what happens like they went to nuclear scientists and were like what happens if we nuke the moon because at some point that's <laughs> yes. the u.s the u.s was doing that because there were like on all sides of this this conflict people just going what if we blew it up and what my if we favorite blew anything up my favorite thing about nuking the moon is that the reason that it was canceled was not because you're nuking the moon. What the fuck are you doing? It was because <laughs> of optics. Yes. They That's simply the, thought it'd be so un good. unpopular. They just pointed out that like, yeah, that like, well, we could do it. It might have envi environmental ramifications. It might fuck up the tides a little bit. But also this was in like, I think the late 60s. And they were like, ah, but people also just like don't have a great view of us right now. They're not really on board with the whole nuclear strikes everywhere thing. So eh, maybe we don't. What if we punched God in the face? Oh, when you put it like that, though. Uh, I think like and like uh, my other favorite one of that is a the like the ramjet that was nuclear powered. But we actually yes. built that. Um, and the Soviets had a off. plan for a moon base yeah. fit with landmines. Yeah. Have you seen the design? Who are they for? Who are the <laughs> landmines for? <laughs> Space Nazis. You never know. Moon's haunted. <laughs> Moon's haunted. Have you seen the designs for the early ideas for the Soviet moon lander? No. It looks like a fucking lawn dart. <laughs> it was just a bunch of Saturn V rockets strapped together, which like is also, to be fair, like a lot of the early designs for American spaceflight was just Saturn V rockets. But they were just in a conical shape, and the idea was just that you shoot this whole thing at the moon, and it like darts itself into the moon. 
cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to do after you land people on the moon. I mean, it's it's a lot like um, how um, the uh, like Los Alamos testing grounds kind of function, right? When we we're developing the Manhattan Project, was a lot of guys had an endless budget, a lot of ex- a lot of stuff around them that will kill them, and only a loose grasp on how anything worked. <laughs> so, like, that's why we get the coolest things ever. Um, oh, but you also get climate change denial out of the very same group of people. Yep. We sure do. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of like Ben Carson, right? Oh. Brains, brain surgeon. Yeah, like yeah. you legitimately cannot become a brain surgeon without being an incredibly talented, very intelligent individual on one thing. Yep. Everything else seems to fade away. It's like, you know, Same Daredevil, when he, when he became a superhero, it's yeah. because, you know, he became blinded. So his other senses like got really, really powerful. Um, ben Carson forfeited every other part of his brain <laughs> other than surgery. <laughs> brain surgery and breathing. It's all he yeah. knows. And, and uh, look at all the things, like, like you said, these are all the things that we actually know yeah. about. I mean, yeah. this is not even counting the fact of all the times the government dosed each other with acid and tried to read each other's minds. All the files the CIA managed to burn before the rest of the government was like, hey, don't do that. Please stop. Yeah, guys, you seem to have built a castle on a mountain, and every time we look at it, lightning flashes behind it like a cartoon villain. Um, maybe we should check in on you. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's not like, what we meant. <laughs> not to meant like, uh, remote viewers? Yeah. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Yeah, that's uh, dope. And you still have papers written by the Pentagon. Well, not like currently written, but that were written by the Pentagon that insist that they're real. So I yeah. understand why some people believe that we did some really, really weird shit during the Cold War. But you know what doesn't get enough credit? The shit that people b- that we uh, believe that we did during World War II. Because um, this is a little bit before that. Like uh, conspiracy. Yeah, I mean, you have... Uh, you know, kind of for the same reason of the Cold War, right? We're in the middle of a war. You have free license to do whatever you want to, uh, in order to help, like, if it helps right. us win. Add, add in, like, that secret sauce of the idea of, like, some forbidden weapons or, like, right. secret weapons in development, which were real. Like, we developed right. nuclear weapons right, during exactly. World we War II. We the entirety of the Manhattan Project was going on during World War II. I mean, jets became a thing. Right. Uh, we, have, we did like, have literal secret cities dedicated to, like, weird science. Somewhere deep in like strange secret caves, the Nazis were launching fucking jet fighters out of them. Um, I mean, th- that was a- such a concept; it became an expansion pack for a battlefield game. Uh, like, small side note there, though. In that game, there's a there's something called a T twenty eight super heavy tank. Right? Uh, this is actually something that's real, and if I didn't see it with my own two fucking eyes, I would think that it's like. Some early sci-fi shit, because it kind of is. Only two of them were ever made. Um, they were never used, because I'll, you'll see why. One of them is stashed at Fort at the Fort Knox Armor Museum, which has since been moved uh, with the armor school to Stewart, I believe. Um, but the T-28 was so big, they required two sets of tracks on both sides. Um, the armor was literally a foot thick. Uh, and what? it weighed 10 tons more than a modern M1 Abrams. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All, Why? It, 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 was, it was effectively an armored that's box. Thicker, that's thicker than like the hole of a submarine. Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Like it, it would have been virtually indestructible, but also completely untransportable right, and usable yeah. in any way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that was in that game too. Uh, I was trying to like paradrop it. Oh my Creating god! I can't even imagine trying to uh, trying to drive like trying to drive an Abrams on any yeah. road is incredibly hard because it weighs oh seventy five tons. It would just destroy the road. Not a single bridge would hold this motherfucker. Uh, and remember, this was built in the forties. Um, Who was and- supposed to drive this thing like an elephant? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I believe a crew of five. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and my honestly, the reason why I bring that up outside of like I got to see it is that the the army built this thing, and then just was like, uh, this is kind of dumb, and they abandoned it in a field <laughs> for decades. It sat in a field until the 1970s, and I assume the most confused farmer of all times like found a tank. <laughs> oh, you turned that into a tiny house now. 
Yeah. It's fashionable. You know, from uh from from these come a lot of wild conspiracies that simply refuse to die. But one of them uh I could find that just was so annoying, so undyingly uh, absurd uh that the US Navy actually had to come out and deny it in t- uh, 2015. Uh, 2015 2015 and you can go on their website right now and find their statement because that's where i found it (laughs) (laughs) um and that is the philadelphia experiment um better known at yeah 30 minutes in i'm getting into topic this episode's (laughs) going great um and that is the time that the u.s government depending on who you believe of course teleported a whole ass battleship through the use of magic I guess. Tele- <laughs> okay. I do know a little bit about this one because I watched a single history channel show about it many times when I was a child. I think didn't, that's where I first heard of it too. Didn't yeah. they transport the entire ship, but only most of the crew. And why I say <laughs> yeah, most we'll of the crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah right, we were talking okay, about okay. battleship centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> 